Welcome back to FT, everybody. My name is Manny. I've got a very unique video for you today. Um, I wanted to make a video for all the customers that we get that are relatively new to PCP air guns. And we got a couple budgets here. 500, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, and a $3,000. Uh, if you've got a budget for any of these, hang tight and I'll tell you why these are probably your best option. Alrighty, folks, so I want to explain one thing in detail here. Uh, there's a lot of air guns that we could all get that are uh, probably different budgets or around our budget, but we may not be able to shoot it in our neighborhood. Uh, so some of these will not, uh, well, none of these are going to be like a 50 cal Texan, even though you can get those for one of our budget options here. That being said, the most bang for your buck, in my opinion, is under the 500 ballpark dollar option is going to be the gauntlet. Doesn't matter if you get the 22, the 25, or this 30 cal, they are, in my opinion, the most ruggedly built uh, air guns. You know, it's not the, it's not the lightest one, but uh, what you get is, you know, 70 plus shots in 25 cal. Um, they're all at least 75 foot pounds of energy. Um, I personally started with a gauntlet and uh, I was shooting 250 meters, uh, which is a very long distance with some slugs. Um, the grouping wasn't great, but it made it there. And so for 500 bucks, you can definitely take out rabbits, coyotes, and even some small pigs, um, put a moderator on it, and it can be backyard friendly. I got a really cool option here for a thousand bucks. Um, it's on the fence of backyard friendly, but uh, there's definitely a lot of air guns, PCP guns that we could get for a thousand bucks. One of them, a couple, couple really good mentions if you're into big game. Any Benjamin, whether it's the 357 or the 457 Bulldog, great choice. They're wonderful, wonderful air guns. The Air Force Texan also, I mean, hands down the most powerful production air rifle. That being said, they're not the quietest. Um, moderating the Texan is a little bit difficult. It's a little bit easier with uh, the Benjamin. However, the most bang for your buck is going to be if you're able to shoot it pretty much every day. Uh, hopefully every day. Uh, we don't all have access to 30 acres and so my choice, full auto blitz. Can't beat it. It's tons of fun. Uh, 30 cal, 25, 22. Uh, you can take down pigs with it, some smaller ones. Uh, you can definitely have a blast. This thing makes smiles all day long and it's very thirsty. Make sure you have a lot of pellets, but thousand bucks, you really can't go wrong, folks. Alrighty, so our third option in the $1,500 range is going to be an FX Wildcat Mark III. Uh, this one we have here for $1,399. And uh, once we get into that $1,500 range, folks, everything pretty much changes. Uh, you get an externally adjustable system. Uh, and I'm not just talking about the hammer spring. You know, we can increase, decrease the pressure in the plenum. And so we can really get the projectile, whatever it is, flying to the exact speed that it likes. This is where your real accuracy is going to come from. And uh, when you get an FX product, you're definitely not going to outgrow it. Um, a very modular option. You can swap platforms and uh, it's a great, it's a wonderful beginning to uh, experience what the new generation of air guns can really achieve. Uh, so without further ado, that's option number three. For number four, we have the trusty old FX Impact Mark III, folks. So this bad girl right here is, let, let, me, let me explain one thing real quick. If you guys are into firearms, it's a lot to spend $2,000 on an air gun. I, I've been there. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, you could have uh, four, five, six hundred dollar AR-15, but you're probably not going to get a chance to shoot it outside your house anyway. 
Um, not to mention you're basically at the subsonic capabilities of a 22 long rifle. Uh, and in a lot of instances, pretty much any subsonic uh, thing that you're shooting, whether it's a 300 blackout, uh, everything is stuck to going less than the speed of sound. So it doesn't matter what you use to get it there, gunpowder is just going to be a lot louder. Uh, not to mention 6.5 Creedmoor is very expensive, uh, 300 blackout is not cheap either. Um, and if you're reloading, you're probably having issues uh, finding primers. When you spend $2,000 on a, this for example, Impact M3, this is your reloading press. You can take a projectile, whether it's a slug or it's a pellet, and you can tune it to such a specific exact FPS that not only your spread will be in some instances less than five, uh, you, you can pretty much get com compete against uh, your buddy's 1022. Uh, the best part, for a couple hundred bucks more, you can go from a 22 to a 25, a 30 or a 35, which is nine millimeter. And uh, that'll really put down some hogs. Uh, a really cool way to do it is to buy the 35 cal and then get the 22 barrel, little cheat code for you guys and you can basically get to 36 grain slugs, Nielsen's, at uh, over 1,000 FPS just by purchasing the heavy duty M3 and 35 cal and just buying the 22 cal barrel. Uh, you're basically shooting a 22 with a 35 cal power. One of the really cool things about these platforms now, once you get into that $1,500, $2,000 range is you know, you can get all kinds of options. Uh, you can get big bottles, small bottles, long barrels, short barrels, um, or you can go kind of crazy and do something like what I have here. Uh, so this is a double bottle M3. This is a 25 cal tension system. I have a power plenum that's bored out. Um, I have a tungsten hammer. Uh, I'm able to shoot 40 grains I mean, 43 grain, whatever I want at pretty much any speed that I want. Uh, so you can really take it there if you want and customize this starting at two grand. So let me get to the last option for you. Last but not least, we have, well, the Epic. <laughs> Obviously here, uh, this thing is next level. If you aren't familiar with this, well, I'm not going to spend a whole bunch of time on it, but it's epic. Uh, it's got an electronic control system. You basically got to turn it on. Uh, it needs battery and Powering on. it'll talk to you. Um, to the epic experience. Firing mode. Limit. Battery level 80%. Fire. Timer on. You pretty much... Fire can't do anything wrong with a gun like this. This is also externally adjustable to the next level. In order to remove a barrel for any of these guns, you need some tools. For the Epic air gun, uh, all it is is a ratcheting system. Uh, you press a button at the end of the barrel, you pull back on the nut, the barrel pulls out. The Epic comes with three different barrels, folks. Uh, they're really different diameters. One is not for slugs. Um, they're each pellet barrels and they're just different diameters for different manufacturers will produce different sizes. Um, to make sure that we're on the same page here, this thing is $3,000. So probably not your first air gun, but, uh, and it's an extremely modular system as well. You get a lot of bang for your buck here. One of the best cases that I've ever seen, the best construction that I've ever seen, this is inside internally, there are no springs. In order to open and close the valve, you just use a little bit of air to separate that poppet valve. Uh, it's, it's some next level stuff. Uh, I feel like NASA had something to do with this developing of the Epic, but um, $3,000 can get you basically sub MOA right out of the box. These are tuned, ready to go. And if you haven't seen the video of where Esteban and I are doing a head to head, he's got this gun and I have the Panthera, which is somewhere. 
and uh, you can see the results for yourself at 100 yards, at 50 yards. Um, it was pretty freaking impressive, folks. So these are, in my opinion, your best options. If you come in here, depending on what your budget range is, five, a thousand, fifteen, two thousand, or three thousand, you've got options. Now, that being said, I want to make an honorable couple mentions here. I'm sure a lot of folks are going to go, well, what about the Avenger? Well, what about the Marauder? What about... So from an engineering standpoint, I'm not too in love with these. Um, they have a shelf life. Uh, a lot of folks don't know, but there is a limit to where how long you can shoot them before they internally uh, self-clear to the level where you're never really going to get back uh, how it was in the beginning. Really cool honorable mention here. So this is 220 230 bucks whatever the price is somewhere on that ballpark uh it's pretty freaking sweet uh <laughs> 22 25 cow they're pretty loud but they come then they do come with a uh what is this called talon adapter. an adapter thank you that's the word i was looking for you can make it into an sbr style or a pistol it's got three hop-up sights and it's 230 something bucks. So you can't go wrong. Uh, less than 500. But again, you're not going to be able to put down a coyote or a pig with this. You're not going to be able to go 100 yards with this. Uh, you know, I, you might as well just get a brake barrel um, in that case. Again, just want to mention we've got a lot of options. This is only a thousand bucks. And this will put down pretty much any animal that you want it to. Uh, but if you can't really enjoy it every day, then it's kind of pointless to spend two grand or any kind of money. So the criteria for today, you should be able to shoot all these in your backyard or at least relatively close and uh, not have your neighbors get mad at you. All right, folks. So you saw it here. 500,000, 15, 2,000, 3,000. There's a lot of, lot of options here that you could get, but the best way to figure this out is for you guys to just come on in and check it out. So thank you for watching the FT channel. My name's Manny. I'm gonna send you off the right way.